The absence of books is like the absence of a soul in a body. You have all you need if you have a garden and a library, the saying goes. Six Errors That Humanity Consistently Commits Worrying about things that cannot be altered or rectified, believing that personal success is achieved through crushing others. Claiming something is impossible because we can't do it. Refusing to ignore unimportant preferences. Neglecting mental growth and development, attempting to convert people to our way of thinking and living. Times are tough. Parents no longer command obedience from their children, and everyone is penning a book. To stay a kid forever is to be unaware of what took place before you were born. If human life is not intertwined with the lives of our predecessors through historical documents, what value does it have? The law is quiet during wartime. Enim Ligis in Terraria is silent. Read at every weight, at all times, during leisure, during work, as one enters the building, and as one leaves the facility. Simply defined, the role of the educated mind is to read to lead. We should not be afraid to express it if we are not ashamed to think it. Friendship doubles our joys and divides our losses, improving happiness and reducing unhappiness. Nulla nobis summis solemn. We are not born only for ourselves. Gratitude is the father of all virtues, not just the finest of them, said Confucius. Because society can only be held together by a single fundamental justice, which is established by a single law, the actual foundation of all prohibitions and laws is the sound reason, which is reflected in this law. It follows that whoever disobeys this law, written or unwritten, is inherently unfair and evil. To remain a child forever is to not know what has been done in previous eras. The world will constantly be in its infancy of knowledge if the laborers of earlier periods are not used. Those who wish to study frequently encounter barriers due to the authority of teachers. Spiro, Spiro, Dumb The life that is naturally given to us is brief, but the memory of a life well lived is immortal. For books are more than just books, they are the life, the very heart and center of bygone eras, the cause of men's labor and demise, the essence and quintessence of their existence, one author has said. Hope exists as long as there is life. The memory of the living is imprinted with the lives of the dead. Politicians are excreted not born. The eyes serve as the translator for the face, which is a depiction of the mind. The stability of friends is put to the test by changes in fortune. Philosophy is nothing more than death preparation, according to the saying. The memories of the living are imprinted with the life of the dead. Your love in life keeps others alive when you are gone. Anyone who has received love will last forever in the hearts of others. I create a criticism, not fault-finding criticism. Great things are accomplished not by muscle, speed, or physical agility, but by reflection, the force of character, and judgment. We must not claim that every error is dumb. Even if it allows you to obtain what you think would be to your advantage, ethically incorrect behavior can never be profitable. Pernicious is the simple act of thinking that engaging in wrongdoing would provide you an advantage. Without friendship, life is nothing. 
It is silly to pull off one's hair in sadness, as though being bald will lessen suffering.